Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we are making the Satin Cocktail. Which is a gin tiki cocktail. Uh, there's not a lot of gin tiki cocktails out there. If you are familiar with any of them, comment below and let me know. Uh, I have made the Catamaran, uh, which is essentially like a gin colada. That actually turned out really well. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link up here uh, so you can have a look at the end of this video. Um, this particular cocktail was created by Jay Popo Galsini uh, and was entered into an, the I, IBA, International Bartenders Association uh, World Cocktail Competition back in 1967 and it won. And then it was also rediscovered by Beach Bum Berry and featured in his book. I didn't take note of which book he featured in. Beach Bum Berry Remixed, I think, possibly. My wife's shrugging. She has, she doesn't, has no idea at the moment, but um, yeah. It's a, it's a gin-based tiki drink with uh, orgette, uh, orge, orge, how you pronounce it. I think I'm gonna start saying almond syrup from now on because I get accosted for my mispronunciation. I even mispronounced mispronunciation. <laughs> Uh, and it's also got a velvet falernum, so a falernum liqueur, and it's got cloves uh, and lime zest in there. So yeah, let's get cracking. This one is a um, flash blended cocktail. So we're gonna use the Hamilton Beach Blender. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well so you can, so you can go buy one. It's probably gonna be a lot cheaper for you guys over in the States. I spent an absolute fortune on this, buying this, the Transformer, international shipping. It was ridiculous, it was a waste of money. <laughs> um, this is flash blended, but if you don't have a milkshake or a thick shape blender at home, then you can also whip shake it with, with crushed ice or pebble ice, and then just dump it straight into your glass or shake with normal ice, dump it in the glass, however you feel free, feel free to do what you want. It's still gonna work. This one here calls for gin, calls for 45 mil, 45 milliliters, 1.5 ounce. Uh, I'm using beef eater. Use whichever one you'd like. Then we have 15 ml of fresh lemon juice, half an ounce. And likewise for almond syrup. Is it? No. Ooh, that was close, close. So we've got passion fruit puree, 15 ml, half an ounce. Just keeping you guys on your toes. Then we have almond syrup, seven and a half mil, quarter ounce. That was lucky, otherwise that would have ended up way too sweet. Then we have velvet falernum, only sits at like 16 and a half percent, I think from memory. 11%, even lower. Very low ABV liqueur, but add some Sweet, zesty flavors. Seven and a half mil, quarter ounce. Into your mixing tin. Add some crushed ice. And with this, I've actually filmed this video. This is the third time now. Um, one of the times the microphone wasn't working. One of the other times I accidentally used passion fruit uh, syrup instead of puree. So it made it sweet as hell. Um, this passion fruit puree uh, actually foams up like pineapple juice really easy. So I'd probably recommend only giving a couple of really short bursts. Otherwise, it ends up way too, way too foamy. Adds a lot of aeration. So dump that straight into your glass and top it up with more crushed ice. There we go. So top it up with more crushed ice or pebble ice if you've got it. And garnish with a maraschino cherry and a lime zest on the left side of the glass, not the right. Uh, supposedly that looks a little bit like the rings around satin. There you have the satin cocktail. Cheers. And no, I haven't been drinking today. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, it's actually a lot better than the last time I made it because I flash blended 
for a little bit too long and it was just super frothy, over diluted. But this is delicious, works really well, well balanced. Um, it's still a, a sweeter tiki cocktail, but I think it's, um, it works really well, those flavors together. The, the almond syrup and the, the zestiness from the velvet falernum pairs very nicely with the gin. Yes, Kat? What flavors are in the velvet falernum? Flavors in the velvet falernum, it's a common tiki ingredient. Um, it's got some spices, it's got lime zest, it's got cloves. Uh, what else do we have? So falernum is Barbados in a bottle. This exotic aromatic drink was invented on the island in the late 19th century by steeping Barbados rum with fresh lime juice and spices. Ooh, yum. Just pour myself a wine glass of falernum. Won't use that glass because it had a fly in it. Oh, I've got one of these again. How good. Minus the fly. Yeah, notes of like clove, allspice, lime zest. It's a really light spice on the nose, but it's allspice driven. And then they're like, Tropical zestiness comes through on the palate. Spice on the nose, zesty on the palate. There you go. Delicious drink, make sure you try it. And of course, I should mention, uh, if you jump on the Shake and Strain cocktail app, you will find this particular recipe and we've just released the latest version, which is a major update. No, it's not on iOS. I'm sorry, it's still coming. We're still working on it. I know I keep saying soon and soon. Um, but if you jump onto Shake and Strain, download the latest version of the app, and check out this recipe. You can add all your bottles you've got at home, find out what other cocktails you can make on the Android app. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. <laughs>